What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Totally Rad channel. Today we have something that I'm sorry Springfield if you hate me for saying this because you sent this gun and I appreciate you sending this gun But today we have a gun that makes me say something I never thought I'd say I think I like a Springfield handgun So it's not a secret that the past few years Springfield has had not like a top tier handgun reputation, particularly striker fire. Their 1911s, I can't speak of at all. But things like the XD, the, the reputation has not been the greatest. This changes my opinion of Springfield for me. This is a double stack 1911, unloaded, mags empty, or you guys complain. But it is buttery smooth and under two thousand dollars there's a couple different price points depending on what models you get but i have legitimately been impressed by this anyone that's been following 2011s for the past i don't know five plus years that they've been a prominent thing in the gun community this is basically an sti as far as aesthetics and all that stuff it looks killer it feels great the day this actually showed up at my ffl uh, we had some infinities. We had three infinities, a Nighthawk Sandhawk, and a Triarch. And for this gun being half the price or or less of the next closest one, dude, like you couldn't even tell. Honestly, this felt better than the Triarch. No offense, Triarch. We're about to see how this shoots because all these opinions obviously are based off of me not having shot it. But dude, just like look how buttery this is. It feels so good. I'm legitimately impressed with a Springfield that's not an M1A for the first time in several years. And I hate saying that because it's not like things like the Hellcat or the XD won't run, won't be totally fine guns that function every time you try to do it. They're just not my cup of tea. This just might be my cup of tea. We'll find out when we shoot it. I want to load some mags and I want to shoot it. So we're going to do that. This gun did show up with this Hex Dragonfly on it. I have not zeroed this optic or anything, so that's something we're gonna have to... I'm just gonna choose one of the six inch plates for the dueling tree and go to roughly 10 yards and try to zero there as best as I can. It just uses a little flat head, so not like a proprietary tool or anything. As far as targets go, after I'm zeroed, we'll move back. Dueling tree will be at 15, small silhouette at 20 yards. Big silhouette down at the end at 100 yards, and then we have the little coyote, probably like 17 or 18 yards. And as I always say, the coyote is deceivingly hard to hit because he's got legs and there's lots of holes, and he always gets you. The coyote gets you. But we're gonna put a mag in. Honestly, the dot looks pretty close, uh, as, assuming the iron sights are on. But we're gonna move up to 10 yards and kind of closely zero on these dueling tree plates. This is my first round through this gun ever. This has not been fired by me. Dude, the dot looks pretty on. Okay, this gun is so freaking soft. This gun is so freaking soft. First shot at the 100, I got it. Dude, I'm impressed with this. This thing is freaking smooth. Uh. Okay, obviously I just got a little out of control at the end there, but I am actually impressed with this gun so far. Two mags down. My opinion is pretty high of this gun at this point. So let's load some more mags, shoot it some more. All right, so it did come with two mags. Uh, they're made by Duramag, which is a good company, so the mags are nice. Uh, they're stamped 17 and 20 rounds. I'm assuming that's full capacity, not just where the window happens to be, uh, but it did come with a standard mag and an extended mag. I honestly can't believe how impressed I am with this gun. Nice fiber optic sight, even when the dots off sights are really easy to pick up. Uh, and honestly, co-witness height is perfect for me because that's one thing that's hard with Glocks. You get them cut, then you have to try to figure out what height you are compared, or compared to your RMR base and who cut it and all these things come into play. 
More often than not, the RMR window ends up being tiny, but because this is a Springfield optic, Springfield gun, it was all put together with one cohesive unit in mind, uh, it actually co-witnesses really well. It doesn't take up a lot of the window. And that's something to be said too. This was, I'm, I don't know if co develops the right word, but this was done with agency. The whole optic mounting system is the AOS. I think it's AOS, agency optic system. So if you need to buy new plates or anything like that, I assume they'll be available through agency to fit different, different uh, optic footprints. But that's pretty cool that they worked with agency, which is such a high-end company on a gun that so far is so cool. I think this is awesome. So, sorry, I was still talking. We're just gonna keep shooting because I like it. Like, what? You don't even have to track your dot. It just, it's just in the same spot. Oh, except on the one where I set it. I need to get a tier one holster made for this thing. Okay, this is my only gripe with 1911s and 2011s. One, I don't have hot, giant hands. Two, my thumb has been broken more than once. It's a mess, so I have to drop the slide with this hand unless I want to really break my grip on the gun. But let's go for the 100 yard target with where we're standing. It's probably closer to 60, 80. 70, 70. You think this is 30 to 40 yards? Point the camera over there. No, let's go. This is 20 at most. This is like 15 to 20 yards. Closer. Oh, that was me. I'm gonna slow down. I said I was gonna slow down and then I went the same speed. Man, if you actually took the time to slow down and take deliberate shots instead of just wanting to pull the trigger because you're excited, this thing would be a hammer even at 100 yards almost. Eat. All right, Collie Boy is our special guest today, and this is okay. on purpose because Collie Boy has been wanting a 2011, specifically an SDI for a number of years, pretty much as long as I've known him. He's gonna run this and see if he wants one of these instead. Yeah, because let's be honest, the other ones are out of my price range. That's what's crazy about this. Anyone that makes a 2011 that's under 4,000, maybe even 5,000, this disrupts their marketplace entirely. Yeah. A it's sub $2,000 2011 that is freaking buttery smooth and shoots good. Yeah. What's happening? Good things. Springfield, good job. All right, run some ammo through that thing. Butter. Butter. All right. Are we sure? Are we sure? Mm-hmm. What? I hit that one, it just didn't go. Damn. Dude, I can't miss. <laughs> and it came zero, that was convenient. Slow and deliberate is the name of the game at 100. It's the same thing I was doing because with this, this is a five inch barrel version. The even a millimeter of movement at 100 yards with a barrel that short makes a big difference. Yeah. I, dude, this is incredible. Oh, I had one. <laughs> one. Yeah. Oh, it's a reach for that, that uh, slide lock. This thing is uh, incredible. Especially, again, the price point. I feel like I'm shooting any 2011 I've ever shot. Dude, same. The FFL I'm on deals largely in 2011s. We're an Infinity dealer, we're a Triarch dealer, we're a Nighthawk dealer. Those are super high, we're Atlas. 
like we're around and Colin is around. Super high end 2011s regularly. Regularly. And this runs amazingly. Yeah. But I mean, ooh, she's hot from the rounds I put in there, but. So I guess I keep calling this a 2011. Technically it's marketed as a double, double stack, stack 1911 and it will have features of that such as his hands covering it, but he's going to move his hand real quick. Beaver tail safety along with slide safety and double action makes everything lighter trigger pull wise. Like you can't, you just can't beat a double action trigger. Nothing tractor fired in my opinion will ever compare to a good double action trigger. A cocked double action trigger. <laughs> yeah, Dude, I'm impressed. Dude, same. I really, 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 really like it. I'll just get your natural reaction. Mr. Awesome Pews, Mr. 2011 right here. Trying out the Springfield. He's even got a staccato in his holster right now. Or an STI, sorry. Same, same. <laughs> Put some respect on the name. <laughs> and he's trying out the Prodigy. Pretty greasy. I mean, the fit's really good. Like the slide to frame fit's good. I, it feels like it's running grease. That it's, so I put a little bit of the Lucas Oil gun so oil it's in. It kind of like it feels a little sluggish, but it, I mean, if that's how it's meant to run, it's helping the gun. Springfield, send this man a double stack 1911. Send this man a prodigy. <laughs> All right, the only thing that matters when you when you buy a new 2011, does it air rack? Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna run back and forth, dueling tree plate, small target, dueling tree plate, small target, and run this whole mag through like that. I did terrible at the end there. But tracking the dot in this window is actually pretty easy. All right, last mag. We'll just run the dueling tree until I run out of ammo. Ah! 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 I love you screaming. You just can't slow down once you start going fast. All right. We have hardly any memory left in the card, so I'm gonna run through this quick. I am super impressed with this gun. It is called the Prodigy. This is, in my opinion, a turning point for Springfield and handguns, in my personal opinion. Everyone's entitled to their opinion, that's just how I feel. This gun is awesome, under $2,000. Definitely go check it out. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you, Springfield, for sending this out. Uh, check out our Patreon because we're demonetized all the time. We'll see you on the next one.